the crack lads welcome back to the channel just a quick one today we are going to be talking about what's coming monday so as you can see if you have not got your free manchester united player maybe you're watching this video and you haven't signed in in a while you will get a free bruno card when you do sign in over the next couple of days the rest of the stuff as normal is going to be reset on the monday listen we're into the kind of end game now of eFootball 2024 it is going to be rebranded to just simply eFootball and not eFootball 2025. So all of these are going to be gone over the next couple of days. And it's going to be interesting, interesting to see how they actually, I suppose, how they transition over um, to eFootball and eFootball 2025 when the game comes out. Because there will be big changes to eFootball League. There will be big changes, I would say, to my league. We'll have more stuff on that very, very soon. And on Monday as well, we're going to have a little bit of a chat about eFootball 2025 in the future as well. I just feel like at this stage in the game, man, the game is just it's, just, it's just fun to play. But there is a lot of issues with the gameplay that need to be rectified. But anyway, on to content-wise, right? So we're not probably going to get anything new, I think, now until the middle of September. All that we're going to get new is going to be cards and packs. And it looks like we already know what's going to be coming Monday because we do have a selection of of players that are going to be coming and this is kind of something that once they're added to the database so you can see every player that's going to be coming monday on the thursday right so i won't keep you too long i'm literally just going to show you that this is what's coming on monday so this is going to be a selection of players and it is going to be a guardians pack um you're going to have Peter check it looks like Matthaus, and of course you're going to have maldini now this maldini here looks like he's going to have 30 plus levels it's going to be a defensive fullback and he's also going to have the fortress skill as a player skill as a showtime skill right so the last player that we got would have been paul skulls now we do have a review done on skullsy and skullsy would have got um a, a card like a booster card but he didn't have a showtime skill right so i do feel like that with the way they're going with the game um i do feel like that you know usually the cards that they have with the fortress and stuff like if you look here They've started to bring out a couple of, uh, you know, epics with the, the player skills. So Varane and Belletti were the last pack. That's going to be over on Monday and be replaced with Maldini, Cech and Matthaus. But Makaleli had Fortress here as well. So I think people are crying out for defenders more so than attacking players. There's just so many attacking midfielders, strikers, wingers in the game. So this is probably a good pack if you're looking to, you know, pretty much have a goalkeeper, a DMF and a left back or a centre back that can pretty much take you through the entirety of eFootball 2025. Um, now, we will be spinning and we will be opening. We will be doing a big pack opening on Monday. Um, we will be doing a live stream. We'll be hunting for Maldini. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see uh, whether we do get Maldini and how deep we have to go uh, with it. Because I know a lot of people really struggled with getting Makalele and Varane in the last pack. But this will already also come with a selection that is going to be here on Monday as well, which is going to be a Guardians pack. We haven't had one of those in a while. So let me know if you guys are hyped for Maldini and Mataus, or are you going to wait for eFootball 2025 to spin again? I know a lot of people have been waiting for this Maldini, and I think that this is going to be a super popular pack. Czech as well. I'm a big fan of Petr Czech. I already have him in my own club here. Um, and he's probably been, listen, I know people will say Schmeichel. I know people will say different, uh, you know, goalkeepers. I think Czech is probably the only goalkeeper in the game that has never let me down more than probably like a handful of times. And he's played probably about, yeah, I was just about to say about 500 matches. I can only think of probably about like five or six games where he actually made a mistake. And the way the goalkeeping is at the moment, every goalkeeper does rebounds. But I think he's probably one of the best in the game. So let me know what you guys think. Are you hyped? Or are you just going to be waiting for eFootball 2025? Or eFootball, I keep calling it eFootball 25. But let me know. So that is the pack that's going to be coming. I will see you on Monday.